Hello, my name is Rian Blom with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about installing Avaya Aura Utility Services Server on Avaya Appliance Virtualization Platform. Let's take a quick look at where we are in the deployment steps for getting utility services installed on the Avaya Appliance Virtualization Platform, also known as AVP. Looking at this image, what you should have done already is installed AVP on an Avaya supplied server. So we're deploying the utility services virtual machine onto this pre-installed environment. There are two methods you can use to deploy utility services. The first method is that you can use Solution Deployment Manager from System Manager 7 to deploy utility services. The second method you can use is to deploy utility services through a standalone Solution Deployment Manager or SDM installed on a Windows client PC. This is the method I'm going to be using today. It is also worth mentioning that I have already pre-downloaded the Utility Services OVA from Avaya PLDS. So the OVA is on the Windows client PC where I am running the SDM from. Let's look at how to get Utility Services deployed. From the SDM client Select New to create a new location and provide the required location information. If you already have a location entered in SDM, then you can skip this step. Once you have a location in your VM management tree, you need to add the virtual host. In this step, I'm adding details of the server with a via appliance virtualization platform to the site. Remember at this stage you should have already installed AVP and accepted the end user license agreement on that server. If there are existing virtual machines already installed on the server you are adding, then SDM advises you to refresh the VM management tree to pull information of those virtual machines into the SDM client. In my case there are no existing virtual machines installed. Under the VM management tree, select the AVP server where Utility Services is going to be installed. Then, on the Virtual Machines tab, click on New. The VM deployment worksheet will pop up. Enter a name for the Utility Services virtual machine. Next, select the Data Store, then scroll down to the Deploy OVA section and choose which deployment method you would like to use. Since I pre-downloaded the Utility Services OVA to this client PC already, I'm going to leave the selection on Provide OVA Path. Enter the full path to where the file is saved, or, like in my example, copy and paste the location from the file properties. Next, click on Submit File. Once the OVA has been read, select the footprint you would like to deploy. This determines the physical attributes of the virtual machine, such as how much memory and CPU it will have. Scroll down and populate all the required parameters in the Configuration Parameters section. Click on Deploy, then on the End User License Agreement Acceptance, click on Accept. Once the deployment starts, click on the Virtual Machines tab. You should see that the current action status should be deploying. From here, click on Status Details. The STM VM Deployment Status page will come up and provide you with Progress Status. Deployment times will vary depending on the method you are using to deploy the OVA. In this example, deploying from a pre-downloaded OVA, the utility services deployment took roughly 20 minutes to complete.
Once all the action items have been successfully completed on the VMware deployment status window, you can close it down. You should now see in the STM that the current action status changed to VM deploy completed. You can slide the columns left or right to get more information on specific sections like the VM app version and VM app name. Now that the deployment is completed, your newly deployed Utility Services server should be available and ready for use. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentoratavaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.